What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Part 51 of The Sims 3 Lepacy Challenge. Um, I am binge playing this family. Um, this is the third part in a row. In a row that I'm filming. I am just loving them. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, someone in our family's having babies. Okay, hold on. So, Hayden... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hayden was the oldest, that's us. Kendall Claus, and then Harley Parrot. Okay, it was a Claus who's having a baby. She married Bradley. They had Royce and June. I, I, was it June? Was it Royce? Is Royce having another baby? It is, I'm pretty sure it said Laura. I clicked out of it without even paying attention, but, or Laura, however you say that. Oh, our, what would that be, our cousin? Yes, our cousin. Our cousin's having a baby. Cute. Anyways, I don't know why I just got like all excited for that. Blake is up and she, bitch, give your daughter some food. I swear to God. And then take the carpool. I swear to God. I hate that the freaking carpool parks all the way down here. Um, Blake is feeding her daughter and then she's going to go off to work. You... I'm not gonna get to feed him in the high chair. You're gonna have to set him down here next to the toilet, let him pee, and then let your niece out, whatever. So she is off to work. Baylor is awake. Um, he got not fully rested, but pretty close. He'll probably just have to take another nap before work, just like last time. Um, but he's gonna get up and take care of the babies. The babies are pretty, pretty angry. And of course, Nicole is over here just Practicing her speech because really that's all she's good for also Eddie did spend the night, but he did not sleep um, He Stayed up all night playing video games and then now he's passed out. Oh shoot on our lawn chairs. So love to see it so Nicole's having her baby in this part. That is like what I'm super excited for That's why I'm like binge playing like I said, this is the third part in a row that I'm filming I'm gonna have to stop after this because there's only there's only gonna be two more parts after this. Oh my god. Um, anyways. Oh, okay. Come over here. Put down James over here. And then we're going to let Scarlet out. Scarlet is officially finished with both of the xylophone and the peg box. So that is perfect. That gives James three more days, I think it said. Yeah, three more days to get those done for himself. You don't really have to go, but I want you to just, like, get it over with, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and put her down, and then we're going to feed James in the high chair. Pick a spot in town and create street art. Sure, why not? Did you get fully potty trained? Okay, good. No, well, hold on, girl. All right, come use this potty, and then you're just going to play with some toys, honestly. You age up in two days. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Feed your child, please. And then you're not super hungry, so I'm just going to have you grab some bread and jam. And then we'll let James out. And then he actually needs to work on, like, his work performance stuff. Actually, we're going to go ahead and follow up with patient. Oh, I love that he can do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and repair our phone. And then we're going to... I don't want him to sit there, though. I want him to sit here. So I have to wait till he stands up. If your sim is sitting and you tell them to do something that you have to sit to do they will do it in the chair they're currently sitting in. It's really annoying. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and um, read our journal because that's part of research. That's something we need to do for work. We're gonna follow up with a patient by phone because I think that is so cool that we can do that. We come over here and use the bathroom and then you're gonna come in here and play with the xylophone. You are super close to finishing. How long does he have to do that? Oh, he has to do it today. Oh, wait. How long does he have to do this one? Well, he's definitely not getting that one done. So I guess we'll go assist accountant. Hopefully we'll have time. Or actually, hopefully Blake will be home before we leave. And then we'll have time to do that before we go to work. That's the goal anyways. All right, so let's read that. She's playing with her toy. I'm like flying through this day. I'm five minutes in and we're already halfway through the day. But like I said, I'm literally, oh girl, go eat, go eat. You're carrying my child. You need to take care of yourself. 
and then you'll come over here, use the bathroom, and then continue working on your speech over here. I know I'm flying through the day, but I really just want her to like have her baby. Like I really just want the baby to be here already. Blake is getting a promotion today for sure, which is super, super exciting. I'm really excited for that. And you might actually, the baby is coming. Oh my God, the baby's freaking coming. I did not think it was gonna happen this soon. He's like, I'm gonna pretend I don't notice until I follow up with my patient. Okay, come over here so he can see you going into labor. Okay, let's take her to the freaking hospital. Let's go have a baby. We're going to have to get a babysitter for like literally an hour, but it's totally fine. Um, this should be his last one with the xylophone, and then we should be moving on to the peg box. He's got a couple of days to do that. Um, Scarlet is doing good. Actually, okay, I was like, is it not going to make us call a babysitter because Eddie's here or what? I love that she's driving, even though I told him to take her. Love that she's driving. That's amazing. Um, let's go have this freaking baby. And he's probably going to have to go straight to work. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll keep Nicole around until Baylor gets home from work. And then when he gets home and goes to bed, Nicole's going to like sneak out of bed and leave him. Like She's going to move out of the house and she's going to be done with him. Um, yeah, Royce is having a baby. I'm so excited. All right. I'm so excited to have this baby too. Oh, she's already inside. All right, that's fine. I'm so excited to have this freaking baby, you guys. Oh, wait. Oh, my timeline for these kids was so off. Okay, so she got promoted to Savvy Scanner. She got a $360 bonus. And Eagle Eye has landed Blake a promotion. Um, armed with a new fangled art scanner, Blake can hit the town and scan art. Ooh. Wait, is like that an actual thing? Artwork scanned? Wait, does she have... Hold on. Um, let me go to the museum and scan some art here real quick. Since we have a babysitter... We might as well go out. Yeah, we already have a babysitter, so we might as well go out and scan some freaking art. What is this? Is this count as art? Can I scan you? Hello? Hello? Can you load, please? <clears throat> oh my gosh, why am I in this? Oh my gosh, no, I want this building. Stop it. Can I scan you? Are you considered art? Hello? Apparently not. Critique? Is that what they mean? Do they mean critique? Like, I'm confused. Or do they mean, like... Is that what they mean, critique? I'm confused. Scan artwork to reveal its secrets in cr critical is critical to advance in your Sims career. What do you mean scan? Am I supposed to get something to scan the artwork with or what? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh no! Crash, stop! Oh, I have a fake plant by my desk and my cat just freaking ripped half of it out and is chewing on it. What a jerk. Okay, I put it back together. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so confused. Well, since she's here... She got, let's see, what, what kind of mirror? Oh my God. Well, now that he got a taste for my fake plant, he's obsessed with it because he just pulled it down two seconds later. Anyways, since she's here, we'll go ahead and do a ground mural also because that's like part of her job. Um, how does she scan art? Like, was she supposed to get a scanner or something? I'm confused. Does 
Okay, new baby girl. Um, geez, Louise. Pregnancy had its ups and downs. Baby was born with Loves the Outdoors and Loner, which is totally fine by me. We are going to name her. Oh, I'm so excited. We're naming her Taryn. Um, so let's go ahead and accept that. I swear to God, if it's twins, I'm going to freak. Okay, it's not. So if that name sounds familiar to you guys, it should. Taryn is the girl that when he went back to university to finish out his um, uh, physical education degree, when he went back to university for that, Taryn is the girl that he, like, low-key had a tiny little fling with, um, but then nothing really ever came of it. And I absolutely loved her, but you guys said you felt like he had too much with Nicole and Jennifer to throw it all away for her. So, yeah. Um, so that's why we named her Taryn. How do I scan stuff? Am I supposed to, like... Whatever, I guess go home. So yeah, that's why we're naming her Taryn, and I absolutely love it. She is in a great mood. All the babies are in a great mood. This is fantabulous. I love her name, Baby Taryn. Ah! So excited. I'm so excited. So he does not have a lot of time before he has to go back to work, so I'm just really quickly going to have him... Use the bathroom and shower so he doesn't have to worry about those. And then he is going to go. She wants to get married. Oh. Oh, yeah. Both the dogs have fleas, by the way. So that's wonderful. I love that. Um, she is going to go put Taryn in the crib and then practice her speech. Like I said, she does not give a flying flute about nothing. Nothing at all. Blake should be home shortly to actually take care of the kids. Baylor has to go to work in an hour. Oh, this poor guy. He's going to be so, so exhausted. But at least he got one of his research things done. Um, he'll get a new one tonight. Every time he finishes one, he goes to work and gets a new one right away. Um, so, Blake, you're going to be alone with three babies for a while. That's insane. Scarlet ages up in two days. And then James will become a child the day that Taryn becomes a toddler. And then Taryn will become a child the day that Scarlett becomes a teenager. So I don't know about them sharing rooms. It kind of depends on um, if Blake's next baby is a boy or a girl. Oh, and actually, oh, no, no, no. I don't want her to get pregnant yet. Preferably, she would, Blake would get pregnant in like two try for a baby tomorrow and then find out she's pregnant the same day that James ages up. So that'd be like a good place to kind of end the let's play with like her finding out she's pregnant and these two aging up and all of that fun stuff. So um, I'm going to have him work hard because obviously the sooner he gets promotion and he's back to his regular days, the better. Blake is, let's see, feeling important. Okay, go girl. I still want to know how I'm supposed to scan art. Do they mean like wall art? Oh, you're supposed to do wall art. That's why nothing was freaking working. Okay, that makes sense now. Well, we can do it at home. So looks like we're gonna do it at home. Let's have you come use the high chair or potty chair. He's gonna need the potty chair here in a minute also. We're gonna have you feed her in the high chair once you get home. Widget Kirkland has passed on. I don't know who Widget is, so I'm so sorry about that. Let's go ahead and feed her in the high chair. Both the dogs need flea baths. Man, we got a lot to do. Let's have you come down here and use the high chair. All right, you, look at her. She's like, ew, I hate children. Why did I just have one? Okay, actually, let's take a bath. You just you just gave birth. You deserve to take a bath. All right, you are going to come and use that. You have lots of babies to take care of, and only one of them is yours. Oh, my God, Muhammad is already seeing... No, put her in the high chair. I hate when they freaking do this. Muhammad is already seeing someone else, so we love to see that. 
give her some food. And actually, I just realized we can't give them a bath until she's out of there. Taryn needs some attention, so we'll come over here, snuggle her, give her a bottle, and play with her. And then by that point, we'll let we'll put Scarlet to bed, feed James. Okay, she's got a lot to do tonight. And typically I would end this part, but I wanna play through until Baylor gets home from work so I can do the whole, you know, him coming home, Nicole moving out, like leaving him, things like that, so. Um, go ahead and pick her up. James, come over here when you're done because you're gonna need to be fed. Actually, just play with this toy for a little bit because you're gonna, you know, you're gonna need to kill some time by playing with that toy. All right. Yes, take care of Taryn, and then she should be good. Oh my god, don't tell me you just broke the tub. Uh-uh, bitch, you're fixing that. You're fixing the tub. You're repairing it. I do not care. I do not care one teeny tiny little bit. No, ma'am, I do not. Okay, and then you'll put Scarlet to bed. She is not going to have any time. Uh, Eddie, leave her alone. Unless you're putting her in her crib, leave her alone. All right, you know what? That's fine feed him oh oh my gosh Scarlet stop get over here go feed him in the high chair and then you'll put Scarlet's bed and then you'll put James to bed and then you'll critique like one painting and then you have to do two flea baths oh my gosh she's getting to bed at like 6 a.m. I swear oh my god I just realized he still <laughs> Both of the kids have their mother's last name. Well, those definitely need to be changed to Kirkland. Um, basic, rename, James, Kirkland. And Taryn, same thing. So, I'll just say, you know, um, Jennifer wanted James to have her last name because at first she wasn't involved mother, you know, she was kind of there. Um, and then now that she's gone, Baylor took it upon himself to change her last name. And then um, with Taryn, we'll just say that, you know, um, Nicole gave her Baylor's last name right away because she knew she wasn't going to be around. Also, love how Eddie's still here. Um, hours and hours later, we asked him yesterday to, we asked him two days ago to spend the night and he's still here. So I love that. Nicole is level two handiness. I love that. Okay. And then after we put him in his crib, we are going to go ahead and give a flea bath to Polly. And then we'll probably take our own shower. Give flea bath to Polly. Polly, do not go anywhere. You stay right there. Nope, you stay right there. Give Polly a flea bath right now. Oh my gosh. And we're not going to get Patrick his flea bath, but that's fine. Girl, where are you going? No! Go take your bath. I swear to God. Okay, and then you'll come in here, use the bathroom, shower, um, come over here, scan the art, and then go to bed because, girl, you got to work tomorrow. This whole three kids thing is a mess, but Scarlet ages up in one more day, so in two more parts, and James will age up in three more parts, and then that'll be, you know, you guys know the drill. Anyways, um, I'm just going to, like, fast forward this. Oh, Baylor got an $18 an hour raise. I love that. All right, girl, you actually need to go pee first. And then grab something to eat. And then get a toy. And then I'm going to have you sleep on the couch. All right. Oh my gosh, he's so stressed. I'm going to have him watch some TV to de-stress a little bit. Hopefully he'll get a promotion tomorrow, but if not, by Friday for sure. So that's exciting. Oh, and actually, you 
should probably go to bed. I want her to be, like, asleep when he gets home. And then um, she's going to, like, you know, wake up when he gets home and then sneak out of the house kind of situation. Oh, wait a second. 2,600. He's on call. Look at her whipping out this thing. She's like, hmm. Let me see. Did I not get any information about that? That's kind of bogus. But it brought her up. So every time she does it, it brings her up another level. So that's good. Also, she works tomorrow in... Oh, she doesn't work till 11 with her promotion. That is perfect. So she can sleep until... She can literally go sleep until she's got to go to work. So that is perfect. Baylor is on his way home. Taryn is screaming. And I'm actually going to have Baylor come take care of her. So she pretty much needs everything. We're going to play with her. Um, not change her diaper. Give her a bottle and snuggle. And then I think he's going to, like, argue with Nicole and just kind of be like, you know, why, why did I come home to our baby crying and you're just standing there, like, yelling at her for crying? So he's going to um, argue with her and then she's going to be like, you know what? I'm not here for this. I don't even need this. Like, I'm breaking up with you. Eddie is finally going home. Jeez Louise. Nope. Stay here, girl. Please do not tell me he's being called in. Ignore. Nope, stay here. Okay. Oh my god. Girl, I can't with her. I cannot. What are you doing? Like, what is this? Anyways. Well, if this doesn't seem familiar at all. And she's going to be like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I didn't even like you that much. I'm only here because you got me pregnant. Like, I don't even want kids either. So, it's over. He's like, how could you do this to me? Oh, and now they're just friends. How sad. You need to go to bed, sleep until you're fully rested. He is heartbroken for some reason. Maybe it's just because it's been a while, but I don't remember him being heartbroken over his breakup with Jennifer. Um, like I said, maybe it's just because it's been a while, but I really don't remember that. So... That's really sad. He's going to be heartbroken for like the rest of this Let's Play. And I actually think, I know I said I was going to film every day, but I think I'm going to play Wednesday off camera just because both Blake and Baylor are extremely, extremely tired. They're basically going to sleep, take care of babies and work, and that's it. So the next part will be Scarlett's birthday, aging into a child, and Blake is going to be getting pregnant um, with Eddie's baby. And then the part after that, it will be a double birthday. James will age into a child. Taryn will age into a toddler and Blake will find out she's pregnant. I will be giving everybody, well, I'll be giving the children all three a makeover and then I will be ending this let's play. Season four will be starting very, very shortly after. So two more parts and this let's play is over. That is insane to me. I feel like I haven't ended a Let's Play in so long, even though I probably did not that long ago, but like, I can't believe it's over. I'm so sad. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below. Look at his face. I can't. I love him. Subscribing if you have not already, and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys.